Well, I didn't have a lot of hair to start with. I've got even less now, and what I have got is going grey. <laughs> Do you remember this? Ho oh, ho 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 ho! The league table! It's a thing of beauty! Football. Now look at this. So things were going great, right? Four wins on the bounce, 12 points in the lead at the top of the division. And then we played Rochdale, Bromley and Bristol Rovers and lost all three. Anyway, the better news is we had a bit of a team talk, had a team meeting, G'd the players up. They all seemed really positive after that. And then we proceeded to win the next three games then. Doncaster, Morecambe and Stevenage. We won them all and got nine points. So we all know by now, don't we, I'm a really bad loser. We're going to conveniently forget the Rochdale, Bromley and Bristol Rovers games. I know. Let's look at the goals from the games that we actually won, shall we? So this is the Doncaster, uh, Doncaster game. It actually crept up a little bit on me. Doncaster have been doing really well and had got themselves into third position and actually scored first. And I kind of feared the worst after that really bad run that we'd had. But then Collins hits one, and their keeper, I think, was feeling a bit sorry for us and thought, you know what, let's give him a goal. But that proved to be the downfall, because then Charlie Brown whips down the wing and Nom scores a second, 2-1. Moving on to the Morecambe game. Charlie Brown picks the ball up. Collins, Nom, nice close-range finish. And then Dennis picks the ball up on the right hand side. And Abo does that. And then we concede uh, a goal in the 76th minute. Off the post, off the crossbar I should say. And then by short. And lastly we've got the Stevenage game. Stevenage who were bottom of the league uh, as we come to play them. Osadibi, fine finish from Osadibi. And then Stevenage, Hartridge, I think, he forgot which penalty area he was in. Hammers it into his own net. Bizarrest of goals. A bolt. Lovely goal again from a bolt. And then the third one coming up. Charlie Brown, fine finish again. So even though form has not been absolutely amazing... We're still top of the league. Let's just have a little a quick look. So we are still top of the league. 40 played, 85 points. We have actually secured ourselves a playoff uh, position at the very least now. Chesterfield are still second with 76 points, 9 points behind us. Uh, Doncaster should be too far away from us now on 71. So now I'm going to nip into the dugout for the really important game against Carlisle. Well, welcome back to the dugout. Weather's getting a little bit warmer, still not warm enough for shirt sleeves, but, you know, it's getting there. Team for today. So we've got Harry Lee in goal, back four of Hartridge, Stubbs, Mensa and Ledger, three across the middle, Collins, McLaughlin and Dennis, Chesters as the advanced playmaker, and Brown and Numb as the uh, two strikers. Yeah, it's an important game this one today. Like I say, I said before, we uh, I told a team meeting after those three defeats. Uh, seemed to lift the players' spirits somewhat. And then we went on to win three games. Uh, it's a very, very important game this today. Um, the stats tell us that if we can get three points against Carlisle today, de depending on goal difference, we could actually get promoted. Ooh. We could actually get promoted with three points today. It will rely on goal difference. We're not not there yet, but it's a really important game this today. And of course, the, there was a point where Carlisle were second and third in the league. I mean, they have dropped a little bit. They're still in the playoff positions, so they're they're fighting for. Oh dear me! Can we put the ball between the two white sticks, please, instead of over the big long white one? Get your head on it. Go on, Chester's. 
That was a nice positive ball instead of going back. McLaughlin with a corner. Get the ball. Oh, and we hit the post. They went to the crossbar there. Oh. That's going to give him a little bit of encouragement. Coming up to half time now. Still nil nil. We've had much the better of the game up to now. Chesterfield are actually winning 1 0 as we speak as well. Um, I'm just going to give him a little rocket. So Stubbs is demotivated. Nom is nervous. Chester's is nervous. Come on, can we score from the kickoff? That's a nice ball forward for Charlie Brown. What's he doing? Is he standing? I'm looking for the linesman. He's standing. What did Charlie Brown do then? He got the ball and did a little bit of a dance. Let's watch that again. Maybe he started doing his celebrations before he scores. Watch this. Whoop, whoop. That was a nice finish. I'm liking that one. He's going to drop back a little bit now to positive. Still need to work on these corners. We had a little spell where they were going in and now they're not. Nom! Yes! Nom's offside. Oh, linesman. I mean, that's got on. It's not arm hairs, is it, that one? No. Okay, we'll give you that one. Fine. I'm going to make a few subs in a minute. Take your time. Partridge, left footed. Mm. Something else we need to work on as well. I don't think we've scored a goal from a free kick this season. So we had to we need need to bring somebody in, in the summer who can put a free kick in the bot in the in the back of the net or do some training. Ledges was tiring, so I brought Bennett on as uh, right wing back and uh, replaced Chesters with Iqbal. Still trying to find a place in the team for Iqbal. I'm not entirely sure we're ever going to find one, to be honest. It's quite disappointing. But you never know. He might just flick a switch for himself and things might start turning round. got the equaliser that's not great I was actually looking at the lead table before that goal went in and I think if that result was stored with all the other results standing we would have actually been promoted today but now that goal's gone in not so much we just stopped the game there so we're on 86 Wrexham are on 71 so there, are, there is actually 15 points in it still with five games to play. I mean, it's, you know, we've got a goal difference of 43. I've pushed Iqbal a little bit further forward. See if that makes any difference or not. Looks like we're going to go for a 1-1. And I think Wrexham have won their game. Well, this is quite exciting. There were a few twists and turns at the end of the previous games and Wrexham actually lost. What does that mean? We're promoted. Skybet League 2, Exeter celebrate promotion. On a wet afternoon at St James Park, Exeter's Sam Stubbs was at the centre of attention as he led the Grecians to promotion. Pressing forward, Charlie Brown gave Exeter the lead with a tidy finish in the bottom left-hand corner from 15 metres in the 46th minute. Carlisle's equaliser came through Ted Brett as he seized on Harry Lee's mistake to score a close-range header. So, we're promoted. Not as champions, I know. <laughs> I'm never happy, I know that. But I want to go up as champions. But we are promoted. That's quite nice, isn't it? And I've had a quick word with the chairman. And he's given me some figures for next season for the finances. Again, a bit exciting. So we wait with bated breath. The board set initial budgets for next season in Skybet League One. Oh, slightly underwhelmed. I mean, the wage budget's gone up by about 
18 to 20,000, which is very nice. 231,000 for a transfer budget. I mean, okay, you know, you have to work with what you're given. I'll do my best. And another nice email has just come through. The Exeter board have announced that they are pleased to have won promotion and that everyone at the club was looking forward to seeing the team play at a higher level next season. In a short message of thanks, a spokesperson declared that praise had to go to manager Gobby Gaffer for ensuring that a club of Exeter's stature would no longer be playing in Skybet League 2. Hear, hear. We just need that big trophy now, don't we? And fireworks and celebrations. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. As we know, my contract is due for renewal in June of this year. So this is quite pleasing. The Bob Board are requesting a meeting to discuss a new contract. Should we attend the meeting? Of course we shall. I'd like to gauge your opinion on whether discussing a new contract for you would be well received at this point in time. There's only a one answer for that, isn't there really? I love it. What a show, a show of unity and stability. Brilliant. Well, got on with that then. Well, we wait with bated breath to see what my new contract involves. Anyway, it's two weeks now till the next league game. So I've organised a little friendly against Taunton just to keep players on the toes. We'll see you for the away game at Chesterfield, which could determine whether we're holding a trophy at the end of the season. Really important game. We'll see you there. <laughs> Horrendous news to report. My goalkeeper, Harry Lee, is out injured. So I'm having to play Frestel. I think we've seen before, he's not the greatest. I suppose that's down to me. I signed him as a backup keeper. He's not really that great. Anyway, team for today, Frestel in goal. Back four of Medford Smith, Hartridge, Stubbs and Ledger. Uh, midfield, Collins, McLaughlin and Dennis. Advanced playmaker, Chesters. And my two strikers today are Brown and Ebo. Well, three points here is imperative. So we can get that lovely bit of shiny silverware in our hands. And they've hit the post in the first four minutes. Come on, lads. It's not great that my, keep, my keeper's injured. Frestel's on a 6.9 at the moment. I need to keep a good eye on him. We're actually not in this game at the moment. Hartridge. Oh, keeper punches it away. Up again. Yes. Charlie ba Brown. Brown? Yes. Charlie Brown. I'm getting too excited. Charlie Brown with the header. So Hartridge, keeper punches it out. Dennis nips in quick, floats it back in. Brown, nice goal. Very, very nice goal. Can we keep that up? Because this would be lovely. Just needs to play nice football. That is lovely football out to Ledger. Dennis. Oh, Charlie Brown again, and he breaks the net with it. What an amazing strike from Charlie Brown. Two goals, he's on a hat trick now. He must be on about 24 25, not checked actually. He must be on about 24 25 goals for the season now. Two look at Chesterfield. This could not, could not be going better. I think I need... Chester's, Chester's, what's Chester's going to do? 3-0 against Chesterfield at their place this is stunning love the ball through from a bow wonder how much he costs a bow they would put a bid in for him 
Yeah, I've had a look at that left wing like I brought in on loan from, I think he's from Derby, but they want half a million for him. And as we've seen, I've only got 231,000 to spend. I have actually put a bid in for uh, a left wing back, whether that gets uh, goes through to completion or not, we will have to see. Well, thank goodness he put that over the bar, because we let him run virtually the length of the pitch. I'm going to drop back to balanced. Let's make a few subs, freshen the team up. Brought Daly on for Collins, he was tiring. Bennett's come on as a right wing back. And uh, we're giving Iqbal a try, it's uh, advanced playmaker again. And it uh, remains to be seen. I don't, have they tested Fret, Fretzel? Frestel, what his name is? Have they tested him? Not quite sure they've tested him. I've not really been taking... Uh, it's been a bit of a sensational game, this. I really wasn't expecting this, if I'm honest. I've not really been taking much of a note there. That was a that was a, a, a foul referee. And he's, he's named... Oh, Charlie Brown nearly with his hat-trick. Yeah, I've not been taking much notice of the uh, stats in the game. Oh, nicely nicked Tim Medford Smith. He's tired as well, but I have no left wing back I can bring on for him. I have moved Hartridge into the centre. Um, not sure. Oh, Charlie Brown! <laughs> he's got his hat trick. Is he? No, it's not. Linesman. Yeah, he was offside by a mile. Was offside by a mile. I forgot what I was talking about then. There's too much excitement in this game. Yeah, extra seven shots. Eight shots now, seven on target. Oh, I was talking about Hartridge. Um, yeah, I have tried to... I mean, he thinks he's a, he's a centre-back Hartridge. And I've tried to make him, oh, one back. I've tried to make him a wing back. And although he does play very well there, he's still, he's a bit grumpy that he's not playing. He's not playing on the left-hand side as a, a central defender. So I've moved him there for this game just to see whether. That wasn't great, was it really? Just to see whether it, it stops him being grumpy. Maybe next season might move him to... But I do need to find a couple of decent left wing backs. Can we do this? 3-1. <laughs> Tremendous stuff. We're edging ever closer to that nice shiny bit of silverware. Four games to play and we're 10 points ahead of Chesterfield now. That was a stunning result. Can't be emphasised enough that, can it really? So those four games now are Bradford City, Sutton, Wrexham and Mansfield. The next episode now will definitely be coming back for the Bradford City game because that could see us as champions of Skybet League 2, which would be amazing. So we'll see you next time for the away game at Bradford City. Come on the Grecians! Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If it's the kind of thing that you'd like to see more of, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and we'll see you next time for more from me, the Gobby Gaffer.